Thoughts I have for you this morning, and so kids, it is time for the sermon in the box, and so I'm going to invite you uh, to join me up front, and Andy has brought our sermon in the box this morning. If you're a visitor with us, what, what we do is a child from our congregation places an object in the box every week. I don't know what the object will be, and then I open the box, and I try to find some sort of uh, lesson that we can learn about God uh, and his word uh, from what's in the box, and so let's see what Andy has brought us this morning. Look at that. Is that a hook? Is that what that is? It's a staff. Oh, it goes this way. So like this way, it looks a little bit like a, I thought it was a fish hook, but this way, it's a staff. That's a great sermon in the box. That's perfect because there are staffs in the Bible, right? Do you remember, maybe you remember the story in Exodus uh, where God delivers his people, they're in slavery and the army of Egypt is coming after them and there's this huge body of water in front of them and they're trapped. And do you remember how God rescues them? He tells Moses to take his staff and hold it over the water. And what happens to the water? It divides in two, and the people are able to escape from the army of Egypt, of Egypt through the staff of Moses. And then the Bible talks about how we have a, a good shepherd who has a staff. And with his staff, he protects us, and he disciplines us. He guides us. And who's our good shepherd who guides us with his staff? Jesus is that shepherd. And with his word, and through your parents, and through other Christian people in your life, Jesus works with his staff to guide you and to protect you. And I hope you'll listen to him and let him do that with his staff. That was an awesome sermon in the box. Thank you for bringing that. We could have gone hook as well, though. And so maybe we'll turn it over the next time. All right.